In this tutorial, we will learn about parametric drawing in AutoCAD. At first, we will create one simple rectangle and create parametric for it. Take the rectangle command, create one rectangle. Then to apply the parametric constraints, click on parametric. There are two types of parametric constraint. One is geometric and other is dimensional. For rectangle, we will apply at first this linear dimension linear and click on this object and select this line and give the position and click outside then second parameter will be for this vertical line again linear object select this vertical line give the position now here I want to apply a formula I want this d2 distance to be half of the d1 to write formula I will write here d1 d1 that is this dimension divided by 2 and click outside if I change this dimension to 20 enter now after changing this dimension these two lines got inclined but I want these lines to be always parallel to this line to keep them parallel we will have to apply the geometric constraint here is the parallel geometric constraint click on it then select the first object Select the first horizontal object, then select the other object that you want to be parallel to this first object. It will keep it parallel. Same way for these two lines also. Click on parallel, select this object and this object. If now we change the dimension, we will make it 15. So it will always remain the parallel. And if we can check that whether it is half of this by giving one regular dimension using linear it is half of this dimension suppose I want to add center line also from here I already have created center layer I will create one center line enter and one vertical center line now this center line are not attached to the rectangle if I change the dimension of the rectangle there will not be any change in the position of the center line I want this center line to be attached to the mid of this line for that again click on parametric here you will have to apply coincidence constraint click on coincidence then select the end of this line and mid of this line so it will be connected same way for other point also Take this end point and this midpoint, this end point and this midpoint, this end point and this midpoint. Now, if we change the dimension, the dimension of center line will also be adjusted automatically. And if you don't want to show the constraint, if you don't want to show the geometric constraint, click on this hide all geometric constraint. It will make geometric constraint invisible. Same for dimensional constraint. Click here, hide all dynamic constraint. So it will hide it and it will not print. And if you want to show them back, click here, show all geometric constraint, show all dynamic constraint. In this way, you can create parametric rectangle or you can use the parametric concept in AutoCAD. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.